Today we're going to show you how we built a simple coat rack for our entryway, a DIY composting toilet, and how we made the space just a little bit more beautiful. Let's get started. Welcome back to Road to Pitches. Our names are Sachiko and Moritz, and we are converting a GMC Savannah box truck into our dream camper van. Today's goal's project, today's project's goal is to finish up the dinette and put up some kind of shelf up here. We wanted our entryway here to function like a mudroom with a little closet to put our coats, hats, and shoes when we enter the van. It was a really simple design put together with dowels, wood glue, and some screws and cost us about $40 total. This part of the project took one afternoon to complete. We still got this piece of U-shaped aluminum with these nice holes in there which I'll be using as a guide for my drill for the dowels. Alright, that's it. It certainly would only win in the category modern art, but I think it'll do the job. Today's goal is to build a... Toilet! For the surrounding box, I've got this 1.5 centimeter plywood furniture grade. It wasn't that cheap, but still okay, around 60 bucks. And I'm gonna build a treasure box. We spent hours researching whether it made sense to build our own composting toilet. Our alternative was to get a nature's head toilet, but that alone was over 8,000 Canadian dollars. We want this build to be budget friendly, so we thought we'd build one first and upgrade later if we needed to. All in all, the toilet costs less than $100. Not a lot of space, but it's pretty comfy. First version of our toilet. It's a five gallon bucket with a funnel and the funnel goes into a pee jack and we hope this will work fairly well. The bucket still needs to be secured into our box. But, okay. Can you show us what the front says? Front? 
<laughs> Do it right, boys. And guys. And girls. <laughs> It'll just go in like this. And then you close the lid. It makes a nasty sound. And yeah, probably goes something like this. In the rear compartment, we will be keeping our uh, peat moss or cocoa uh, fibers. Cocoa puffs. Cocoa puffs. Cocoa fibers. So. I don't know, man. I like cocoa puffs. <laughs> we have a little fan that fans out the stinky air and also the moisture. This toilet directly hooks up to our wall for the air outlet. So I have these two little fiddles here. I fiddle them in. You can hear it. As I move it in. That sits flush to the wall and airs out the stick. I might have to. That's where the stink goes down and out of the box. With us losing daylight faster, this was it for this weekend. I am left with this 35 item list and one of these list items is getting our rear doors fixed up. It's already insulated. Well, that's a bummer that it was already insulated, so I not necessarily had to do this. But I could at least adjust our door lock so it opens and closes way better. So I cleaned it up as good as I could, and uh, now let's put it back in. I hope you had a lot of fun watching this episode. It was a lot of building and not so much talking, but this pretty much ends our build series for this year. Of course, we have plenty more build videos for the next year until we venture out. But until then... Until then, we just want to say again that we love each and every single one of you for coming along. We've got a year-end video coming up, so stay tuned for that. Yeah, if you haven't subscribed already, hit that subscribe button now. <laughs> Otherwise, if you have any topic you want to hear us talk about in our year-end video, make sure to comment below. And otherwise, hit the thumbs up and we'll see you at the holidays. In the holidays? At the holidays? During? During the holidays. Alright, see you on the road to fetches. Bye! Bye. Beautiful funnel for our feet, I heard of. I always want to become a firefighter, you know why? Because they have the coolest hats. Sorry, firefighters, you're doing an awesome <laughs> job. <laughs> this does not work. This is a little too big for our feet, I heard of, so. <laughs>